Hey everyone, it's Dan from Cooks Illustrated. I'm back with another cocktail. Today we're making the espresso martini, which as you've probably seen, is making a huge comeback. We're gonna take our own spin on it today. It's gonna be a drink that is beautifully uplifting and then also can help chill you out. So let's get into it. First things first is a martini glass and I have ice and water in it. You really wanna chill the glass down so it doesn't warm up your drink when you put it in it. So we'll keep this here. You could also put this in the freezer, but it's really nice to do it this way. So this stays nice and warm for your fingers and the top gets nice and cold. So let's get into the drink itself. Normally an espresso martini starts with vodka and vodka is really clean, doesn't add a lot of flavor to the mix. We're actually gonna swap that out for an aged rum. So we have one and a half ounces of aged rum. What's great about the aged rum is that it actually, through the aging process, picks up a lot of toffee and kind of caramel notes that really complement coffee. So it's gonna do a lot more work than the vodka would. Next up, as our star ingredient, espresso. This is freshly brewed espresso that's been cooled down and you wanna use as high quality as you can. Whatever you make at home is awesome. So that's one ounce of espresso. So the next ingredient is definitely not common in espresso martini, but it's gonna add a ton of honey sweetness and some good spice notes. And it's actually Benedictine, which is an herbal liqueur from France, it's been made for centuries, and it's really, really nice here. Also the sweetness will obviously help balance out you know, the espresso and the bitterness that you get from that. So I have three quarters of an ounce of Benedictine. And then finally, a half ounce of coffee liqueur. Now we have a recipe to make your own coffee liqueur below this video. Absolutely check it out, it's really easy to make. I love doing it, but you can also buy a high quality one. All right, now that we've got everything in here, I'm gonna add my ice, I'm gonna fill this glass up. I'm gonna pop on the other half of my shaker, knock it on nice and tight. And as it chills, it'll get tighter and tighter, so there's no risk of it spilling. And we shake. Beautiful. All right, so I'm gonna undo this. We'll now dump the ice out of our martini glass. Nice cold glass. Pop on our strainer and strain right in. Just look at that. You get that gorgeous foam on top. It just smells like fresh espresso. So to garnish our espresso martini, I'm gonna use three espresso beans. They just look really beautiful sitting on top. Let's give it a try. Mm, that is so good. That coffee flavor just runs through the entire drink. This is really, really good. So if you're in the mood for an espresso martini, this is the one to make. Cheers.